Hey, 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 what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Ainsley D here with another stimulus check update. And this one is a little different because we're not talking about the second stimulus check and whether or not we're going to get a second stimulus check because we're going to talk about the first stimulus check. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about the first stimulus check because there are thousands and thousands of people who still haven't received their first stimulus check. Now, we're talking about how can we not receive the second stimulus check? When are we going to receive the second stimulus check, but thousands, tens of thousands of people are out there without receiving their first EIP $1,200 stimulus check. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? AZD here. Before I continue this video, I'd like you to like this video so YouTube and the algorithm will know that this video is of value to you and can be of value to others. And also subscribe to the channel because I'm going to be doing some follow-ups on the stimulus check, the second stimulus check. And in addition to different methods and strategies of earning extra income during this pandemic. So let's go into it. So today being a Wednesday, and that means it's a payout day. Deposit payout day should be receiving people account. The people that I'm talking about are those who still haven't received their first EIP $1,200 stimulus check. That's the first stimulus check. Still haven't received it yet. April, May, June, July, August, five months, still haven't received their EIP $1,200 stimulus check. Payout day Wednesday are usually payout day, deposit day. I would like to, I would like for those people who are on SSI, SSDI, VAs, railroad retirees, all the people who get social security benefits or VA benefits, please check your, um, please check your direct express card. Please check your bank account or even check your mail to see if you received an EIP debit card or an EIP $1,200 check because they are still processing payments for people who are on SSI, SSDI. Ladies and gentlemen, I still don't have the answer to why they're taking so long. I look up on the um, IRS website in addition to the um, Social Security website and they said they're trying their best to get these checks out to people. Some people, they don't have information. So let's get to that. If the if the IRS might not have your information or you, if basically if you're tired of waiting, go to the non-file portal because some of the um some of the other viewers also suggested this and they also do it. Go to the non-file portal, fill out your information, put your banking information and everything in there and and get it set and submit it and submit it. And in about a few days, call up the IRS. I'm gonna, I'm going to also include the IRS number into the description below. Call up the IRS, see if they have your information and make sure everything is and make sure all the information is updated and to find out if there's a way that you can get a pen to date. Also check the get my payment tool because they will also update about every two to three days and it can tell you if you have a payment pending to your bank account. Those people on SSI, SSDI, um, VAs, please check your bank account, check your direct express card. So some of you should already receive your EIP $1,200 stimulus check or have a pending deposit on it. Also, for my people who are on SSI, SSDI, who are living abroad, make sure you start to check your direct express card. If you haven't received them yet, they should start processing um, last week. So those people who are living abroad, if you haven't received them yet, please start checking your direct express card and also check your um, check your bank account to see if any deposit was made. If the IRS don't have update information for your address, also make sure that the IRS have updated information because if they don't have a um a deposit, because if they don't have a bank account for you that's um a United States bank, then they will have to send out a check to you or an EIP debit card to you. Another thing for those people who are non-filers, SSI, low income, that wasn't able to get the $500 for each dependent because maybe the time ran out and you wasn't able to claim each dependent. They are opening up that portal. Once again, they are opening up that portal. I believe it's under the non-file portal. You will go in there and you will update your information. So if you didn't get your $500 for each dependent, say if you have three dependents, adult or child, and you put them and you put that information in and you didn't get the $500 for each dependent, um, they are now paying out for those who did put their information and didn't receive their payment. They are paying those people out. In addition, they are opening up back the portal so people who didn't get an opportunity before the deadline to put those information for their dependents, either children or adult dependents, mostly children, um, mostly children dependent. If you haven't put those information in there, you can now go ahead, go to the IRS um, 
go to the IRS non-filer portal and put your information for your dependents in there and they should be paying out without, and they should start processing and maybe paying out within a month or so instead of having to wait all the way until next tax season, instead of waiting all the way to next year, like a lot of people was complaining because that's not fair. They are opening up the portal once again. They are opening up the portal so you can go there, put your dependents information in, and they will start processing those checks to you. Other information I've come across is um is from another YouTube channel, and this channel is called um, Blind to Billionaires. He has some great information of these different programs and nonprofit programs and charities who are helping out people. So once again, um, that's Blind to Billionaires. I'm gonna run down some of the um, information that he had. So one of the places that he had was one called Modest Needs. Modest Needs will help you, say if you're living paycheck to paycheck, or if you're um, like one paycheck away from losing everything, Modest Needs will help you out with um, with your rent, with mortgage, with grocery, with bills, and other, necess and other necessities that you might need help with. Another one that he said was Gradient Give Back. Gradient Give Back, I guess, is a foundation who help people with their rent and mortgage. So if you're falling behind on your rent and mortgage, that's another one that you can look up. Um, NetWish is another one he explained about and NetWish is a small financial assistant program and it helps people with up to like $200 so maybe you don't have enough money for groceries or for your utility bills and things like that they will help you with up to $200 maybe it would be a gift card or maybe it'll be a voucher or whatever you need so that's also another good program to look up and also the United Way he said the United Ways like many of us probably know if you don't know the United Way have many, many different programs for citizens, for different people, people on low income, people who need assistance just in general. They can help out with finding different programs and resources for your needs. So just call them up or um, register on their website and uh, give them a call and see if they can help you out with your needs. Just let them know what your needs is and they'll probably find a program or resource that can help you out. So once again, um, that was some information that I got from um, Blind to Billionaire. So I'm going to leave a link to his um, to the video that I've seen from him in addition to his channel as well. So check out Blind to Billionaire. They have a lot of great information for people who need assistance, who need like help with rent, mortgage, or maybe groceries. They have a lot of information on different programs like that. So once again, it's Ainsley Dawkins. Hope you got some value out of this. Continue to be safe. Please like, comment, and share. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm going to be sharing a lot more information on the second step stimulus check the stem on the second stimulus check the stimulus check update for people who haven't received their stimulus check, their first stimulus check as well as different ways and strategies of earning extra income from home online in order to take care of your bills and your necessities so once again it's Andy Dawkins continue to be safe talk to you later peace